really hot outside and Sarah Lynn from the Domestic Geek inspired me. She made cherry cheesecake froyo pops. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Well, I make the best cheesecake in the world. You've got to check out my recipe. But when I went to the store, they didn't have any cherries yet. It's a little too early where I live. So I decided to make blueberry cheesecake froyo pops. I want to show you how easy this is to make. Get yourself a popsicle holder stick thing with the little things and let's get started and make some froyo pops. I'm starting out by adding two cups of Greek vanilla yogurt. Yummy! Four tablespoons of cream cheese, one quarter cup of graham cracker crumbs, and then one cup of frozen blueberries. And yeah, I wash my blueberries after they're frozen, right before I use them. <laughs> then they stuck together in the one cup measuring cup. And then blend it up in the food processor until it's as smooth or chunky as you want and then put it into your mold. Now my mold is older and it only has four. I actually had leftover. This will not pour. You can't put this into a pitcher and then pour it out. You have to scoop it in and maybe wipe off the edges and then put in your popsicle mold sticks and you're good to go. So that's it. Blueberry cheesecake froyo pops. They really do have that cheesecakey taste. So give it a whirl, give it a try, check out my playlist for other healthy recipes and please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and check out some other, I'm gonna put a video up here or, or if, you're, if you're on a computer, it's up here and if you're on a mobile, it's up here. All right, thanks for watching, bye. I'm making an energy smoothie with bee pollen today. Bee pollen has just all kinds of nutrients and energy in it. Um, you don't need a lot, but I'm gonna make this drink. It's so good.